So anyway guys, the ice fishing season has started pretty early this year on like Simcoe. Cold temperatures, ice is already I think 6 to 8 inches thick. Pretty good. I got out once and uh, caught a few perch. Just want to show you what I've been catching them on. So anyway, I've been using the Crappy Max Grubs. I don't know if you can see them right here by, um, by Bass Pro Shops. Great lure. Caught my biggest perch, my PB 12 inch perch on one of these this year. PB for the season. It's a great lure. Tip it. Usually I uh, get a jig head, tip it with one of these bad boys. Perch are hitting them all day. It's a great lure. Another great lure that I've been using, bait I guess, is the Gulp Alive Maggots. Gulp Alive has been on the scene now for a while. It's by Berkeley. They make great lures for people that don't want to be using live bait. Um, anyway, $6.99 at Bass Pro Shops and sale, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, same thing. Just tip it with a jig head. You probably will want them 30 second ounce. Drop it down there and the perch will love it. My favorite spot to ice fish is Virginia Beach. And uh, it's usually pretty shallow there. Water's pretty clear. You can usually see everything that's going on down at the bottom. So I always like to carry a spoon with me. Williams Wobbler Spoon. Or might not even be it. Williams Washer Spoon. Great spoon. Just drop it right down there. Just in case uh, you see a pike come cruising through. Um... Or anything bigger than a perch, obviously. Um, I like you know they pipe been hitting the uh, gold and silver color this year. I've only got one so far, but in the past years as well, they've been loving this bait. Um, not much to say. Just make sure you have a instead of the common six pound test that you got on when you're fishing for your perch. Make sure you tie on about a I usually like twenty pound test for these uh, pike because. Obviously, got teeth, and they're gonna rip right through your perch line. So, yeah, Williams washer, great lure, fish for the pike with. And then, uh, I like to use these Red Bull. Um, snap swivels, anyway. They're great for. Uh, I mean, just going from two different kinds of line. Um, yeah, pretty good to use. Uh, what else? The rod I've been using is a Rapala ICX rod with a R1C1 reel. Uh, another just great setup. The reel is also ICX actually, ICX series. Um, here's the combo. You can get it at sale for a pretty good deal, I think, in $19.99. I mean, if you're not going to get much, this is probably what you want to get. I get out quite a bit, but I mean, there's no, I don't really feel there's use of getting an extremely expensive ice rod because the ice season is so short here in uh, south, southern Ontario. But yeah, here's the combo. It's great. And yeah. If you're wondering, I'm using a chartreuse jig head most of the time. Usually a 1 and 16th ounce, but with the exception of the maggots, I use it for I use a 1 and 32nd ounce. But yeah, chartreuse I feel is the best color. They love it. Birch love it. Even uh, if we're going out the course of the lakes, go for some crappie. Same thing. Just get that crappie max tube right here. Tip it the tube with. One of these great jigs, and you're laughing. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again on NC Outdoors.